So hi guys, uh, welcome to my session about uh, documentation. Um, the session is called FUBAR. Um, that says enough, I guess. First, a disclaimer, sort of. In all VMware presentations, you always get that official disclaimer, which I really loathe. I mean, come on, we all know what's going on. Uh, so we wrote a, dis a different disclaimer. I did this together with uh, Wouter Kirsten, one of my community buddies. Uh, he's actually the one that got me into presenting, so this. You read it all? Let's continue. So this is me. Um, my name is Hans Kraaienveld. I work at a company called Fondo. We, um, we do lots of uh, cool stuff with uh, Digital Workspace and uh, Horizon and some other stuff as well, because we're pretty broad. Um, I focus mainly on uh, VMware Horizon. I'm a consultant slash architect, so I troubleshoot. I go to customers to uh, design, build, implement, and document. Documentation, um, let's, uh, who doesn't know what FUBAR means, by the way? FUBAR stands for fucked up beyond all recognition. So when something is just not in a good state. Let's put it neatly like that. Um, it has a history, which you can see here, but since this is a really short session, um, another um, minor point, uh, please save your questions till after the session, because I have technically 12 minutes to do this story, so it's going to take me, it's going to be hard. But anyway, who knows this picture? Ah, good. So what we're going to talk about is that thing, right there on the left bottom of the screen how the project was documented. Because that's something I run into very frequently. You come to a customer, you say, okay, I want to do a health check. Can you show me your current documentation? Yeah, it, it used to be here. Um, we'll try to find it. So then when they finally find it, it's old, it's outdated. Um, it doesn't show everything. It's, it's all about communication, isn't it? Um, I also heard something about Duco. Um, he's a community member as well. Um, when there's no documentation, this is called Duco-mentation, apparently. <laughs> so here you go, Duco. So why the hell is this so hard? Um, who here thinks documenting something is easy? So that's two. OK, that says enough, doesn't it? It takes time, doesn't it? It takes a lot of time. Um, and uh, who here actually gets or takes the time for documenting properly? Oh, there's a few. So you're the good guys or girls. This is another one. Um, people don't tend to document because they don't see the use of it. They think, oh, this is going to be just purely for me. And the information's in here anyway. So why the hell would I put it on paper? I don't have to transfer that knowledge to anybody, or at least they think so. And basically, uh, documenting still has a very negative connotation. People just don't like to do it for some reason. Um, who actually likes to document, to, to take time to document stuff? Who? That's one. Come on. So, another problem. How do I document properly? What do I need to think about to get documentation properly done? You have to think of a couple of things. Um, who is this documentation going to be for? Uh, what kind of information do I need to transfer to the other person um, to make it documentation that's worthwhile? Because some information will have to be in there and some might be too much. You have really have to think about what you're going to put in there and what the use is going to be for that particular part of documentation. So uh, as an example, if I'm going for um, a, an implementation at a new customer, I create a document uh, in which all the settings of all the components that I used are in there so they can easily be found when there's some troubleshooting to be done or when an upgrade has to be done. And of course, if you're doing it really correctly, you take that existing documentation, you do your upgrade, and you update the documentation as well. You should. So why do we document? Why should we document? Um, in the long run, it will save you time. Um, the time you put into documenting, especially if you have a larger organization, 
that knowledge needs to be transferred to probably a lot of people. So the right people need to get the correct information because it's all about communication, is it? It's the transfer of knowledge. And of course, the last one, you need to document those things that actually should not be forgotten. So it's, it's a reason I blog, for instance. If I found um, uh, something really unique that I found in the customer, I, I solved a particular problem, um, I'll blog about it for myself, which has a double function. It's for me, so I can find it again, because my website has a search function. And other people can benefit from it as well. It's also why I'm active in the community, because I, I love sharing knowledge. So, what do we do to do this correctly? Take time to do this. Um, if you're not getting the time from, say, your manager, claim the time. Explain to them that this actually takes a lot of time to do properly. Um, it's, it's really important that you uh, create some awareness that this is time consuming. And there's all sorts of tips and tricks you can use to, um, uh, to make it easier for yourself. Um, don't do it afterwards. While you're implementing, just keep your docu document handy to the right of you and just go over those settings and document them because you're in the console anyway. I mean, it will save you time to do it like that because otherwise you'd have your complete implementation done. Then you go and document. You have to go into those interfaces again, make screenshots or whatever. It takes time. Make it easy. Um, say you work in a, in a project organization, you have a couple of people always doing the same projects, say uh, Horizon deployments, I can relate to that. Um, create a template. I mean, you're usually doing the same implementation, right? So make it easy for them. Um, I've heard a couple of times from a couple of my colleagues before, um, I don't know where to start when documenting. I don't know what to do. So having a template in uh, preferably a, a system that's centralized uh, would make it very, very easy for a lot of people just to get started because they already have a start. So templates is a, is a, is a good way to, to make it a bit easier. Once you have documentation, uh, make sure you can find it again. I've actually been to a couple of customers that used to have documentation. They, had, um, they usually put it on a file share. That's the old way, right? So they put it in SharePoint next. They put it in the knowledge base after that. But they, they now had three or four places with all sorts of documentation and no real way of actually finding the right stuff because there was some stuff that was really important that was still on the file share. And there was some stuff that was being used in SharePoint and the new system had hardly any adoption. So this is, this is policy, I guess, within a company. Um, it's really important to have a policy for your documentation. Um, get yourself a system that will allow you to get it into one place, make it easily accessible, and not just for your for you techies, but also for your end users, for example. Um, there's a couple of systems that actually allow the documentation to be shared to IT admins, but other documentation to users as well. So you can use that same system, you create the documentation in one place, and then share it out to the right people. So. Get a good system. That's what I want to say. So for that, um, like I said, it's a short session. Uh, since this is a community session, I also want to give a, um, a shout out to anyone, especially you in the back right there. Um, if you have something worthwhile to talk about, just realize that there's always something you know and the other people don't. Share what you know. So if you have a, a good idea, a cool project, you've done a successful POC or anything that could be worth something to your peers, please come to these kinds of stages and share it, please. Um, these stages make it really easy. It's a, it's a simple request in a Google form. Hey, I want to do this presentation. And you'll hear from the guys, hey, come over, tell your story. Come on, get some practice in. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> well, last but not least, for all you people sitting down here, I actually want to give something back to you as well as a thank you for listening to me. Um, you're going to get a giveaway. Um, I'll be at the back uh, after my session. Uh, just come up to me and um, enjoy the gift. And with that, if there's any questions, please come to me afterwards as well. And with that, that's all, folks. <laughs>